The social order as we know it is created out of ideas, either directly or as a systemic consequence. In other words, somebody somewhere did something which generated a group interest. Once a given set of ideas are entrusted by a large enough group of people, it becomes an institution. And once that institution is made dominant, while existing for a certain period of time, that institution can then be considered an establishment. Institutional establishments are simply social traditions given the illusion of permanence. In turn, the more established they become, the more cultural influence they tend to have on us, including our values and hence our identities and perspectives. While there is always a debate about genetics and environmental influence, it's very easy to understand in the context of values Every intellectual concept which each one of us finds merit with is the result of a cultural information influence. The environment is a self-perpetuating programming process, and just like designing a software program for your computer, each human being is advertently and inadvertently programmed into their worldview. Every word you know has been taught to you one way or another, and thus every concept and belief you have is a result of this same influence. Jacques Fresco once asked me, How much of you is you? The answer, of course, is kind of a paradox. For either nothing is me, or everything is me, when it comes to the information I understand and act upon. Information is a serial process, meaning the only way that a human being can come up with any idea is through taking in dependent information that allows that idea to be realized. 